Hey everybody and Yoko Solo. Today we are going to do another episode of Anime Eats where we get to make anime food in real life. And today we're bringing you a recipe from Shokuji Dokoro Yukihira, which is from. Can you tell? Can you tell? Does this give it away yet? Well, you've probably guessed it, but it is from Shokugeki no Soma, Food Wars. If you don't know what Shokugeki no Soma is, it is a manga and an anime that is based completely on food. It is based on the main character Yukihira Soma, who is going to Japan's most elite、uh, cooking school, Totsuki Gakuen. It's actually really informational and really, really fun. You get to learn about all different kinds of techniques, all different kinds of ingredients, so I highly recommend watching it. Shokugeki no Soma is honestly one of my favorite animes of all time. Watching it really was very inspirational and also it helped me solidify what I wanted to do with all of my channels. I know Shokugeki no Soma is a highly requested anime for my Anime Eat series, so I feel like I'm gonna be doing a bunch of different recipes from the show, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. And today I am making. Furikake gohan! <laughs> Bakeru furikake gohan, also known as transforming furikake rice. This dish comes out in chapter 2 of the manga or episode 2 of the anime, and it is Soma's enrollment test dish. It's also the eighth, it's also the eighth dish on Shokuji Dokoro Yukihira's secret menu. Furikake is usually a dried Japanese condiment that is sprinkled onto rice. It could be made up of anything from bonito flakes to egg flakes to kimchi. Furikake is a super like, basic thing to put on rice. It's not fancy at all. However, this dish is quite different and takes it to a whole other level. Before we start, I want to say thank you to milkandeggs.com for partnering with this video. As you learn in Shokugeki no Soma, ingredient quality is extremely important in creating a good dish. Milkandeggs.com is an online farmer's market and they bring extremely good quality products to consumers in the LA and OC area. They deliver them straight to your door, which makes it super, super convenient. And while not all the ingredients I'm using in this video is from milkandeggs.com, they have a huge variety of produce and meats, really, really good meats, as well as a lot of Asian products. Definitely recommend checking it out if you are in the LA or OC area in California. All right, hajime mashou. Oh, wait, one more thing. I'm going to be putting the ingredients. In the description, so that way you can see it all and follow along and make it for yourself. And again, I'm doing a kitchen cosplay and I am doing Soma. So I have the Hachimaki, his Yukihira Diner shirt, the long apron, and also the back of the shirt. So, of course, since this is served on rice, we gotta cook the rice. I'm making about one and a half cups, but you can make as much as you need. And then you want to wash the rice really well. And then you're going to put your rice inside the rice cooker to cook it. For this one, because we're doing shokugeki no soma, I'm going to put it on delicious level because quality matters. We have one pound of chicken wings. You can also use winglets. Winglets? Winglets? You also need four eggs. Sesame oil. Shoyu soy sauce, dashi, grated ginger, sake, mirin, sugar, and green onion or chives for garnish. You want to select a pot that has a wide bottom so that way we can lay out all the chicken and they won't be overlapping. Put in your sesame oil. Then you're gonna take your chicken and you're gonna to want to put it in skin side down first. Watch out because the oil is gonna spit a bit, so you want to get a lid and put it on so that way it doesn't like get everywhere and makes a huge mess. You want to make sure that they get to a nice crispy golden brown color. So, I was going to use liquid dashi, but I think I'm going to use the packet kind instead. Watch out, this is so crazy. But the next one, we're putting in three cups of water.
It got nice and quiet. Now we are gonna work on the soup base. We're gonna put in one and a half tablespoons of the dashi. One tablespoon of grated ginger. One tablespoon each of sake, meeting, and sugar. Three and a half tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm just gonna sort of do this to make sure everything is mixed. Oh, it smells good. And as you cook it, you're gonna see some of the fat and stuff, so you're gonna wanna skim that out. And after you get rid of that, you're gonna put the lid on, simmer it for 90 minutes, and the liquid amount is probably gonna be about half. I feel like I've waited an eternity, but here we go. It has come down a lot, sort of what it looks like. So at this point, you're gonna wanna remove the chicken. Be careful, because it's so soft. You don't really want parts of the chicken like this to fall in there. So then you're gonna take a Tupperware or some sort of bowl thing. Uh, usually you sort of wanna have it as a square shape or a rectangle because it'll be easier to cut it into cubes. And then you're gonna take saran wrap and stick it in so that way it'll be easy to pull out later. Then you're gonna pour this into the prepped Tupperware. Yum. Then you're gonna let this cool down a bit and then you're gonna put it in the fridge until it is hardened into jelly. And while that is cooling, we are gonna cook the egg. You're gonna whisk the egg until it's all mixed. Then you're gonna add in a tablespoon of sugar and a pinch of salt and whisk that in. And you're gonna heat up a frying pan. I'm using a little bit, oh, that's a lot of it. A little bit of oil so it doesn't stick. Pour in the egg. And you're gonna mix it. So it turns into soboro, which is sort of like super finely scrambled egg. This is a workout. That looks good. I'm gonna try to, oh, oh my God, Kat's got some free food. I'm gonna try to make these pretty fine because I know Soma's was pretty fine pieces of egg. If you whisk it really hard while you're cooking it, it'll get pretty small. I brought this out of the thing. Here we have it. Oh, I don't wanna make it too hot in my hands. We're gonna chop this up fairly small. So I have the delicious level rice and I have the soboro, which I mixed together because that's how Soma did it. So I'm just gonna lightly mix it. And then I'm gonna pour this on top. And we're gonna put some green onions. Sate. <laughs> It's now many hours later, and this took a lot longer than I thought. I have never cooked this before. I was really unsure about the technique originally. 
a lot of people online had problems making this dish. As with, I feel like a lot of dishes from Shokugeki no Soma, since the skill level is not like basic. It actually turned out perfectly. The pieces melted in really, really well. I didn't expect it to. I thought it was either gonna fall apart when I was cutting it, or it was just like not gonna melt at all, but it melted perfectly. So I'm actually really stoked to try it. I ate some of the chicken pieces from the wings and it was really good. Also, this is similar sort of to soborodon, which is one of my favorite dishes to make. Here we go, itadakimasu. You could see, maybe you can't see. It melted into the rice all the way. I thought it was just sitting on top, man. Itadakimasu. Oishi! Oh my god, this is so good! Oh my goodness! Holy cow, this is so good! The sauce pieces actually melted it on their own into the rice. Mmm. Super highly recommend trying this if you have basically a full day to cook, but oh, it's so good. It's so flavorful and it's the perfect amount of salty and sweet. So before I finish eating this, thank you so much for joining me. If you want to see other Anime Eats videos, the link to the playlist is gonna be in the description or there's gonna be another clickable thing up here. So much to milk and eggs for the really amazing ingredients. I really feel like that made a huge difference in this dish. And if you're in the LA and OC area and decide to order from milk and eggs, I have a promo code, Sylvia G Eatery. Info on how much off is gonna be in the description. Kitties, chill. Thank you so much again for joining me. Make sure to like, subscribe, let me know other anime food that you want me to make, and I will see you in my next video. Mata ne!